for the fishermen here at Lake Choga, it is far from business as usual. Fishing here is now a struggle. Rowing their boats through the weeds is so energy consuming that the fishermen need to rest at regular intervals to be able to maneuver their way through the dense weeds. And those who rely on the lake are starting to grow desperate. When we go out, our nets cannot sink to catch fish. The weed has spread all over and trapped all the boats ashore. I used to get fish worth $37, but now I catch just enough for home consumption. The mud formed by the weed is so dense that at first glance it looks like dry land. Uganda's environment body says the weed has covered almost 85% of the lake, which is the largest weed invasion to have hit one of the country's lakes. I can actually say that this weed is more dangerous than the hythen because its multiplication rate seem to be higher. It doesn't allow light to penetrate. Secondly, it, 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 it affects the temperature of the water by overcooling it, which is not conducive for the fish. The weed is believed to be a native of Brazil and authorities here cannot explain how it has found its way one of Uganda's biggest freshwater lakes. Environment management authorities here say if nothing is done soon, the entire lake will be covered by the weed in just a month. This they say could kill the lake's entire fish stocks and also destroy the livelihoods of the communities who depend on the water. Ugandan authorities have been grappling with how to rid the lake of the giant Salvinia, which is affecting the thousands of people who use the lake as a freshwater source and to fish. We can look at the manual uh, removal, but using the using a mechanized way of removing it, the way we manage the water hyacinth. But we can also use the biological means of uh, introducing some pests that can check it out. For now, the fishermen can only ponder over how they will get their next meal as the aquatic fun continues to multiply and threaten their livelihood. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Nakasongola, Central Uganda.